Well, hello, me lovelies, and welcome to World of Mind. These issues are coming in thick and fast this week. I don't know whether it's because the subscribers are now fell behind and we're catching up or what, but they're just rolling in quicker and faster. Today we have issue number 34 of Build Ready So Up, but guess what? Next week is so exciting because look, we get some electrics and it is very interesting because it is the lightning circuit board, printed circuit board, rear lighting, rear and left sides. So finally we're moving on from the engine. Yeah! Oh, I've been waiting so long to move away from that, but guess what? Looking at that, we have got some really, really chunky connection points there. So I'm very excited for next week. Um, so obviously this video is pre-recorded because obviously um, there seems to be a backlog at the moment. And then next Wednesday will be uh, back to live. Um, but yeah, it's uh, they're coming in really quick this time. So. This is our fan, so we're going to be doing a little fan system here. As you can see in this issue of 34, we're going to be doing the radiator fan and housing, so uh, which is fitted to the front of the engine, as you can see here. So we'll be doing this. Um, looking at this, we can get around the issue that we've got here. The lady I need to speak to is in, uh, in the news agent today. Um, so I'll have to ask her next time I'm there, but it, we can get around that easy because it's going at the back of it And the problem we've got is at the front of it, so we can get around that easy um, So yeah, we're going to be connecting all that on onto the back of the engine And then we'll have something that looks like that. This is going to be so chunky once it's finished um, And then obviously yeah, that's what we're going to be getting into and then next week is your license section Everyone loves electrics in the part works. So let's take a look at the parts that we need to do. We will need to bring over this section that we did in a previous issue. As I said, this part here is currently under replacement. So we've just got to wait for that to come in. But the actual point we're working on is this part here. So we'll get around that easy. So uh, yeah, let's get into the parts that we've got, which are these little parts here. So we'll bring that down, as you can see. And we'll get all these out like so it is super hot today but it's nice because there's a little breeze with it today so these are the parts um, all plastic as you can see nothing appears to be broke this time so that's fantastic news um, oh that's nice look at that you've got some numbers on there oh how cool I reckon that is for the bit that's going to go on the rear lighting because obviously there was all then connection points weren't there so that'd be interesting um, we've got a pack of DPO7 screws and a pack of DPO6. I was going to double the video, but seeing as it's coming early, I thought, well, we might as well carry on. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to uh, bring in the engine that we did last time. And it looks like, as you can see here, on the end of that, let's get that first of all. On the end of here, you've got like a little notch. And that is going to feed onto the little notch that we've got here. So we basically, you can see you've got a little notch. That is going to feed if we put it directional, because it is directional on here. That's going to feed and sit onto the back of there. Right, so, so as you can see, it looks absolutely brilliant. You've got this lovely little fan there. And uh, yeah, pretty good. So once we've secured them in, we're going to put 2.3 times 4 PB screws, which are the DPO7s. And we're basically going to secure that in with one screw. So basically, this is rather groovy because it then gets covered up. So that's pretty good. So as you can see, you've got a hole down here. We're going to secure that in with a DP07 like that. So yeah, I mean, this week for Eddie Stobart, it's just been manic. We've had so many issues come in. Um, so that's that. All lovely and jubbly. That looks rather groovy. I'm really impressed with that. And it just sits there on the back of it. Now once we've done this, after all our hard work that we've done, we're now going to cover it all up with this little section here. As you can see, you've got some detailing on there. And what's going to happen is we're going to flip that over and it's basically going to hide all that up. So, well, not necessarily, but you can see there's two holes here which are going to feed up with the two holes here. So that's going to go into roughly about like that. Cool, this is super chunky. And they're going to go in with DPO7 as well. So we'll get the DPO7s. 
and we'll secure that into there like so. So as you can see, it just goes into this hole here like so, and we're gonna secure that right the way down there. This only takes a couple of turns, so that's quite cool. Okay, and then we're gonna put the other DPO7. So we'll just get the other DPO7 there. So you're quite lucky today, you've had an Eddie Stowe bar, you've got, um, you've had the Diamond Painting Root Master on the other channel, and then tonight you've also got Diamond Painting Magic Garden, so you, it's like the Monday Bonanza show. <laughs> but yeah, that looks, oh man, that's beautiful. Look at that, this is really, really chunky now, so I'm really happy with that. So that's good. And then obviously the next part that we've got is the little pipe. Now obviously it's up to you if you want to use glue, but it does actually say that no glue is needed. And this comes around the back of here. And you can see that we've got basically a little hole that's up here. Um, and then there's a hole that just goes there. So basically looking at this, we've got to We've got this little pin section that fits into that part up there and that end here goes into that hole there so we put that round there whoops it's probably easier to put this one in first but that goes into there and then it comes around the back of there and then slots into that hole there so that's really good so it sort of links it up there obviously as i said it, it stays in there quite snug. If you wanted to glue that in, you're more than welcome to glue it in. Although the manual does say that it doesn't need glue. With me, I've learned from previous mistakes that I've glued it and then I've needed to take it off. Um, but m with me, if it doesn't fall off, it doesn't get glued in. But as you can see, this is now, if I take this up a bit, this is absolutely massive. This is by far the biggest engine I've worked on. Um, and I thought Ecto was big. This is 10 times bigger. I've never done a lorry engine before and this is absolutely a delight to build. Um, in here we've got the section that we've just put on with the fan behind it sitting around the back there. And then we've put like a little pipe across there. If you turn it, you can't really see it this way, but if you turn it that way and tilt it, you can see that the fan is just there. How cool is that? That has been a beautiful beautiful nice quick easy issue now obviously these parts here are going to be used in a previous uh, sorry in the, uh, a later stage but obviously what i've liked about this is we've been able to still construct it obviously without having to put it there i did think it was going to go there but i'm wrong obviously um so um yeah but it was a good guess Obviously, I'm so happy that we've uh, been able to put it on. It hasn't held us up and we, you know, we've got access here. I'm hoping next week it will be in and we can just take these screws out, take all this off. All of this pipe here will be replaced. I can't, I'm not going to replace that, but I want to replace this. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant. And uh, it's a really, really lovely, lovely build. Now, obviously, coming in next week, as you can see, it's going to be... Lighting and circuit board, printed circuit board, rear lighting right and left side. Um, and as you can see, if you look very closely, it's got like little LEDs on there as well. Um, and then obviously, you've got little 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think that's 12 um, connection points. But I'm intrigued as to what this section does, which is quite nice. Actually, we can have a look in there. So 3404 is the radiator base, apparently. And then 3403 is the radiator front, which is that section. So my gut feeling is this is going to go... I reckon that will go on... To, let's take this out because you can't see this. I reckon... Whoops. I reckon this is going to feed onto there. And then underneath here, you'll have that section which goes something like... Probably like that. So that wouldn't surprise me if that was what we were doing. But guys, if you like what you see, do get this build. It is a really, really enjoyable build. As I said, I've never built a lorry and I'm impressed. Every It's something about this company. They are absolutely fantastic. Their quality control is amazing. You know, every issue that we do, it, it is just enjoyable. You know, 
everyone waits till the next week and you know i think that's the incitement of seeing what we're going to do next week because obviously we don't know until the next issue is here or you could cheat and look at the website but i don't do that i like to be guessed um but obviously if any of you know what's coming up after 36 um you know 37 38 39 do let me know because i'd love exclusives but yeah, that's a lovely, lovely issue. Hope you like that video. That's Eddie Stobart. Your next live video for Eddie Stobart will be this Wednesday. Take care, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye now.